Hello, I'm Emma Hammett, the founder and CEO of First Aid for Pets and the author of First Aid for Dogs. Today I want to tell you about a fantastic charity called Smoky Paws. They're working with the London Fire Brigade and with fire brigades across the country to help the fire service um, to um, save pets' lives following smoke inhalation. They are helping, um, they're a charity that are providing oxygen masks for pets. So they're small oxygen masks that fit over the muscle, muzzle of, of whichever pet has been affected and they fit very neatly and then they use the fire service's oxygen supply to re-oxygen the pet um, quickly and save their lives. And they've already saved quite a few lives so far. There are approximately 40,000 house fires every year and 46% of, of the population have a pet. So the chances of um, a pet being caught up in a fire are pretty high. And it's usually smoke inhalation, inhalation that, that kills them. So the quicker that the fire service can use the oxygen on the pets, the better. And the better the, the, ch the chances of a full recovery. The life-saving masks are available in three sizes. You've got a large one for dogs and big dogs, smaller ones for smaller dogs and cats and rabbits, and tiny little ones for your hamsters and um, those size pets. Um, and you know, they can all survive a fire if they're given quick oxygen um, following um, mild smoke inhalation. So it's, you know, it's quick and it's easy and it works. Um, so, so far there's 16 um, fire stations um, in the UK that have the masks and are using them regularly. And uh, on our last First Aid for Dogs course that we um, did here, um, one of our trainers brought along the masks. And you can have a look on our website, firstaidforpets.net, and see a picture of, of one of the dogs wearing the masks so you can see what I'm talking about. And the charity hopes to equip every station in the country with these masks. Um, the charity organiser, Lynn Carberry, um, is from the States and in the USA it is mainstream. All fire stations have these masks and use them to save pets um, following a fire. And um, they want to bring more of them around and make a real difference. So I hope that's of interest. There's more information on our website, firstdayforpets.net. And uh, that's me, Emma Hammett. Many thanks.